As one of the most lucrative trade positions currently in existence, it's really no wonder why so many people find their way into the plumbing profession. In fact, becoming a licensed plumber opens up a number of doors from the extension of the position into an organizational job to the opening of your very own plumbing business after gaining enough experience. Before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. Number one, the desire to continue business as usual. The starting of a plumbing business can be difficult for a number of reasons, but one of the most prevalent ones is the inability of a professional plumber to metaphorically change his spots. Remember, a plumber can really only take this leap on his own when he has been classed as a licensed plumber as only then can he attend to jobs and hand out compliance certificates on his own. And since this could take upwards of six years of experience to achieve, most plumbers are used to the grind of everyday life in the plumbing industry. As time on the job increases, so does the speed and technical ability of that plumber, who after a while is able to get more than a few jobs completed on a daily basis. In other words, the plumber starts to get into a bit of a routine. The difficulty with such a routine though, is that it's not an easy thing to break. And the unfortunate truth of the matter is that the starting of a plumbing business is a lot more than a quick shift over into doing work for yourself rather than on behalf of another. Sure, you will essentially be your own boss, but there is a lot of effort required to run the business that has nothing to do with your day-to-day -day technical skill. So it's clear that the starting of a plumbing business will cause a bit of a rift in a professional plumber's tight-knit routine. And since many experienced professionals see a breaking of the routine and decrease of daily jobs as a failure, a great many of them carry on business as usual, neglecting their new business in the process. And since the starting of a new business needs more care and attention than one that has been going for ages, neglect often leads to the eventual failure of the new venture. To correct this, plumbers who wish to open their own plumbing businesses will have to think of the changes that need to occur before taking the leap. Once they have committed themselves to these changes and are willing to give their new business the care and attention that it needs, they will be well on their way to becoming a successful boss. In fact, in the beginning stages, the setting up of administrative administrative tasks and invoicing strategies is a lot more important than the completion of jobs as usual. Number two, dealing with the financial side of life. Regardless of the technical skills required to become a successful plumber, life is often considered to be pretty simple. Professionals in the sector attend to as many jobs as they can in an attempt to earn as much as possible. And when it comes to the end of the month, the amount they have earned needs to be more than their expenses. If this is not the case, debt will be incurred. And if they have have earned more than what they have spent, some money can be saved or used on a reward of sorts. In other words, the life of a professional plumber is practically the same of other employees who work for a broader business or corporation. The same cannot, however, be said for those plumbers that have started their own businesses. Having a business is similar to having a child in that it takes a lot of care and attention at the end of the day. And when it comes to working for yourself, there is a lot of knowledge you'll have to have that doesn't form part of the usual trade school curriculum. One of the most difficult things to determine, for example, is how much to charge clients. The majority of unsuccessful plumbing businesses started out by first looking at the amounts that other companies were charging for work done, and then setting up their prices to be cheaper and thus far more competitive. But what you actually have to do is charge the least amount possible while still keeping your business overhead in mind. If you charge too little, your overhead will be well above what you earn, causing your business to bleed financially from the very start. Dealing with the financial decisions of a startup business can be pretty difficult and will require some tweaking in the beginning. But just make sure that you aren't committing yourself to a price that isn't working at the end of the day. Number three, finding the time for a balanced life. Another difficulty that is often experienced by a plumber when first starting his own plumbing business is the amount of time that this will end up taking out of his life. As we have stressed earlier, starting and running a successful new business requires a lot of care and attention. And while the professional plumber is used to the routine of being able to relax after a long day of work, this will no longer be possible. Essentially, running your own business is tantamount to having a second job. You can't simply attend to the technical services required by the clients of your new business and go home for some much needed shut eye. You have to forego rest and attend to the actual needs of the business of which the there are many. 
The starting and running of a new plumbing business is a very time consuming task, especially within the first few years when you are getting used to day to day operations. As such, professional plumbers in this position often find that their lives become consumed by the new business, allowing little or no time for their personal well being. And since mental acumen is incredibly important when it comes to the performance of your job and running of your business, this can be highly problematic at the end of the day. Mental health is incredibly important, after all, with heavy strain often leading to feelings of uselessness, which will always have a negative effect on your business. This is why plumbers who decide to open their own plumbing businesses need to ensure that they have at least few hours per day free to treat themselves to some personal time. This is especially important when you have a family or significant other at home, as you wouldn't want to neglect them either. Number four, a general lack of knowledge. But by far, the biggest difficulty involved in the starting and running of a new plumbing business is the general lack of business knowledge that a professional plumber has. You see, since many plumbers find themselves starting a new business after they have achieved around six or so years of on-the-job experience, the majority of these professionals believe that they know enough to succeed. But the truth of the matter is that the knowledge required to successfully run a business is a lot different to the knowledge and skills needed to be a great plumber. First things first, there needs to be a solid development of a business strategy, model, and structure, which many professionals take for granted since they are so used to working under an already existent scheme. Questions that need to be thought of within this realm of business include how employees are going to be hired and how invoicing is going to take place, for example. But it's not just the establishment of the structure that is necessary, as both skills and knowledge will be needed to actually manage the business that you have brought into existence. And since business management skills aren't exactly common knowledge, the majority of professional plumbers can be said to lack them. The running of a business consists of a number of moving parts after all, with the owner having to come to terms with the management of employees, contractors, support staff, tax, compliance, and even invoicing. To really gain the knowledge needed to start and run a successful plumbing business, the professional plumber will thus need to obtain the knowledge mentioned above. And that's where Plumber Accelerator comes in. This is an intensive mentoring and training program designed for serious plumbing business owners worldwide. It's through this portal that plumbing business owners struggling with the day-to-day -day workings of their business can be trained and coached through the problem that they're experiencing. This would include aspects unfamiliar to a plumber, such as the development of predictable sales and marketing systems to attract high profits, support tools, and direction for those battling to make ends meet, as well as intensive courses to help build a proper base for the business. And since all of these materials and support are available online, Plumber Accelerator is perfect for the business owner that has already taken the leap. Remember, it's only with the requisite business acumen that you'll be able to make a success of your business. And the longer you wait to get this knowledge, the further your business will slip from your control. If you're already a plumber, running your own business or just about to start and grow your own plumbing business, you must learn the four critical things plumbing business owners wish they had learned before starting a plumbing business so you don't make the same mistakes. Plumbing Accelerator has put together a free training video you can watch right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your plumbing business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work and free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have a sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you will also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth referrals, how to stop competing on price with other plumbers and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, and how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Make sure to click the link in the description and let us know what you thought about the video in the comment section down below. 